Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Hofer, and today is Thursday, and we are going to do a little math warm-up today. So I need you to get your dry erase board and um, a dry erase marker. And then also for today, you're going to need this page, which is um, lesson 30, just the front page. We're not going to use the back. And then these pages are attached to today's lesson. So um, there's two of those. So you can do those while we're doing them. Um, while I'm doing it, you can record your answers, okay? But the first thing we're gonna practice today is we're gonna practice writing to 20. And we're gonna do it on our board. And I don't know if your board has um, rectangles at the top like mine does, but we're gonna do it three times. So we're gonna do it three times at each time we're gonna write how far we got in the box and see if we can get better than we did the last time. So we're gonna to try to improve our writing of numbers, okay? So the thing is, I'm only gonna give you one minute to write your numbers. And then we're gonna freeze and we're gonna look and see how far we got. And then we're gonna do it again. And then one more time. Okay, and each time we want to see if you get better, but not only fast, but I also wanted you to see if you can um, use neat handwriting. So neatness is probably more important than how far you get. So if you only get to 10, but it's nice and neat, that's better than getting to 20 with backwards numbers. So make sure you're paying attention and you're um, making them neat. Okay, so we're going to do one minute on the clock. Ready? Set, go. So you're going to just write your numbers as neatly as you can. Try to leave spaces between your numbers. Okay. Maybe you'll need to look at something, okay, when you're writing your numbers, but maybe you won't. And you just want to leave spaces between them, especially when you get in the teen numbers because it really starts to look like one long number if you don't leave space. Okay, you have 25 seconds left. Okay, we have 15 seconds. I'm trying to get to 20. Ooh, Mrs. Hofer almost didn't have enough room. All right, and five seconds left and time okay so if you see mrs hofer made it all the way to 20. so i'm going to write up here in the box the number 20. and then i'm going to erase my board but before you erase it maybe have mom or dad or someone just double check to make sure you didn't make any backwards okay and then go ahead and erase when you're writing your number sometimes when you're just learning how to write numbers it's a good idea to count as you're writing the numbers. It kind of helps you um, make sure you get them all. Okay, so we're going to do it again for one minute, and we're going to start now. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, I might want to put mine just a little closer so I don't run out of room at the bottom. And I'm also counting one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna come down here try to stay on the lines we're not using the worm line if you have a board like mine we're not using the space here where the worm line is oh we have 30 seconds left Ten seconds. Go. Oh. And five seconds. And time. All right. So this time, if you look at Mrs. Hofer's, I, I got all the way to 21. All my numbers look nice and neat, so I'm going to put number 21 here. That means I improved. Last time I got 20, this time I got 21. So I want you to try to get to 20. But if you can get farther and you're not squishing your numbers all together, then go ahead. 
And we're going to do it one more time. So erase your board and get prepared. Okay, and we're going to do it one minute is all you get. One minute. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Remember, we're counting if you need to, to know um, what number comes next. So you might be counting it to yourself. You're also, if you don't know if it's a backwards number or not, um, stop and maybe look at an example somewhere. And make sure you're leaving spaces between your numbers. Okay, Mrs. Hofer ran out of room, but I did manage to get to one more. I'm going to put my number up there. You guys have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and time. So look at your board, and I hope that you were able to improve your number or at least your handwriting. So slow down if you're going super fast and it's looking sloppy. Oh, we don't want that, okay? All right, and you can play that game by yourself, just maybe set a stopwatch or on the phone, set the, a timer or, um, or ask your mom to, okay? All right, so today we're going to be talking about weight. Do you remember earlier, I think before Christmas, we were talking about weight. We talked about if something was heavier or lighter, and if it was heavier, then it would make the scale go down, and if it was lighter, it would be up in the air. So we're just going to kind of review heavier and lighter. So we're going to use a balance scale again today. And I know since most of you don't have one at home, I'm going to do the work here and you're going to follow along and fill in your papers with me. Um, but first we have this application problem and I'm going to read it to you. So if you have that ready, go ahead and get it out. And then um, if you don't, pause the video and go get it. Okay, so it says, imagine one big ball of clay and four small balls of clay. Oops, here we go. The big ball of clay is as heavy as the four small balls of clay. Okay, so what does that mean? It says, draw the balls of clay on the balance scale that they would show that they are the same weight. So if it says the big ball is as heavy as the four little ones, that means they weigh the same. Um, so which scale would we draw that on? Would we draw it on this one that has one part of the scale up and the other one down? Or would we draw it on this one where both of them are the same? That's right, we draw it on this one where they're both, where it's even right across, okay? So what would that look like? It said one big ball and oops, four little ones. So I'm going to put my big ball on this side. And then it says I'm going to use four little ones is going to weigh just the same as that big one. Remember when we took the Play-Doh and we made um, and weighed them and tried to make them the same? So I'm going to put my four little ones over here. So my one big is the same as four little ones. It's like I took that big one and pulled it apart into four pieces. Okay. All right. So um, give me a second to turn the camera around and we're going to look at the balance scale. Okay. I got the camera turned around and I have it on the balance scale. And remember when it's the same, then this little um, triangle is pointing at the little um, pointer at the bottom or triangle at the bottom. That means that this side weighs the same as this side. So today we're going to compare some pattern blocks, the weight of some pattern blocks. So you have this paper out, and if not, you can pause it and go get it. And we're going to um, need five triangles and two hexagons. And we're going to see if they are the same or which one is heavier. And it says that we're supposed to color the side that is heavier. So I'm going to put the two hexagons 
um, on that side. And then I have my five triangles and we're gonna move them over to this side. Which side do you think is going to be heavier? There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that didn't even move. So which one was heavier? Even though it had less number-wise, it's heavier um, than the five. So I'm going to, I just have a black marker over here today. So I'm gonna color it in with a black marker and you can color yours with crayons or markers or circle it if you want. All right, so we're gonna take those out and we're going to um, do our next shapes. It says we need four squares and four trapezoids or rhombus. So we got one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna put those, and then we need four squares. So I'm gonna put the squares in. One, two, three, four, and let's see, which one do you think is gonna be heavier? Do you think it's gonna be the same since they both have four? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Um, I don't think they're the same. It's close, but this side with the red shapes, the um, trapezoids or rhombus, is going down and the squares are going up. So I'm going to color that one, the rhombus. Okay. All right. And now we're going to be comparing... I'm going to be comparing um, squares and triangles this time. It says I need three squares. And I had four in there last time, so I'm just going to take one out. And now there's three, and I need nine triangles. Wow. Which one do you think is going to be heavier? Can you help me count? Ready? One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, it looks like nine triangles is a little bit heavier than three squares. So we're going to color the triangles. Anybody remember how many sides a triangle has? That's right, a triangle has three sides. So we're going to color that shape. Okay. And we're going to go down and we're going to compare some hexagons with some rhombus shapes. We need five hexagons. So hexagons. How many sides does a hexagon have? Can you count it on your paper? Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, a hexagon has six sides, but we're going to use five of them today. So I think that the hexagon is going to be heavier than the rhombus. What do you think? I only need three of those. So let's see. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, it didn't even move, did it? So we're going to color in. The one with three. Uh-oh, Mrs. Hofer did that wrong. Oops, we're going to color in the hexagon, aren't we? Because it was heavier. The hexagon, look, I made a mistake. Remember, mistakes aren't all bad. They help us um, learn and our brain to grow. So um, I just X'd out because I made a mistake. So we had five hexagons that were heavier than the other shape. Okay, practice using the words heavier and lighter. Okay, oh, now it wants us to do the same two shapes, but it only wants us to use five, which we already had five hexagons, and I have three trapezoids or rhombus. I'm not sure what that one's called. And then I need two more of those to um, have five and five of them. So I'm going to put in two more and it still did not move. But this time on this page, guess what? 
it doesn't want us to color the one that is heavier. It wants us to color the one that is lighter. And remember, lighter is the one that is up in the air, not the one that is down on the scale. So I'm going to color the one. If I had red, I would color red because that's what color that shape is. A red rhombus. Okay. And then we're going to compare triangles and squares. Are you staying with me? If not, just pause it and then you can catch up and then hit play again. So it says I need six triangles. So um, let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I need one more. That makes six. And it says I only need two triangles. So one, two. And it wants to know which one is lighter. Remember, not heavier, but lighter this time. And it looks like it's the two squares. So we're going to fill in the two squares. Okay. And then we have two left to go. So we're going to do four squares. So I already had two squares in there. So how many more do I need? That's right. I only need two more because two and two more make four. And then it said I need six hexagons. Which one do we think is going to be lighter? Well, the hexagons have six sides, and we need six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, six. That one, the squares are lighter. Four squares are lighter than six hexagons. Okay. And we have one left to do. We're going to use triangles again. Do you see how many I need? That's right. I need seven. And then I also need five rhombus or trapezoids. So, oops, that's crooked. If it's not on there straight, it won't um, weigh them correctly. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I need five, one, two, three. Oh, it looks like they're about the same there. Four, five. Which one is lighter, the triangles or the rhombus? Yeah, there's more of them. Seven is more than five, but the triangles weigh less, so they are lighter. So we're going to color in that one, okay? All right, and that's it for today, boys and girls. I want you to keep practicing your writing and counting. Please practice counting to 100 today, and I will see you tomorrow.